Hello, dragons and devil joes. My name is TV Sky, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. So, I've been kind of working on trying to set some goals for myself as to what kinds of equipment I want to try and grind for, and like what exactly where I want to go. And for the moment, I don't really think I'm in a position to be grinding for well weapons. Basically, I think I got I think I got a weapon that's about as good <laughs> as it's gonna be getting for a bit, and I think uh, that, like, outside of grinding for... I want to try out the hammer. So I've, I've decided to, to try and get the Diablos line of hammers up to as high as I can get it, and then I'm going to try and use that weapon for a while. But for the moment, I'm still dedicated to my longsword, and I'm going to pursue the Odogaran armor set, because that seems to synergize really well with a longsword playstyle. But before we do that, I've decided... You know what? Let's try Land of Convergence. Let's try that quest. Let's see what happens on there. Let's see what will actually kill me if I go out there and I give it a shot. Because, you know, much like with previous missions where I've been kind of intimidated and held off, um, I feel like, you know what? Maybe I should just give it a shot and see what happens. And then, like, if I get knocked the hell out and die three times, then... I'll have to come back to it later, won't I? And bring overpowered friends with me who can kick the ass of anything that bothers me. Uh, let's see, let's just not bring traps, because if I'm fighting anything, it's going to be an Elder Dragon, I'm sure. So let's just go and see what is what. Hello. Ah, you made it. On time, too. I like that. The guy over there is the one who called you here. I hear you've crossed paths before. According to him, there's a place upriver where all of the energy converges. So, that means it's time. When you're ready, hop on the boat over there. But remember, once you do, there's no turning back. And if you're not ready, you can step away now and no one will judge you. So what do you say? Are you ready? Indeed. Interesting. Not quite ready yet, no. That guy over there is the one who called me. What? Which guy? What guy? Where? I don't see a guy. Maybe he's down there. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drugs. Oh, lovely drugs. Ah, there he is. The seeker dude. So, let's just go and see what happens. Let's see if this kills me in terrible ways. We meet again. Since last we met, I have followed the trail of evidence and arrived here. And so, it appears, have you. I take it you've seen the Elder Dragon's graveyard? I have discovered that an abnormal amount of energy was flowing through the veins beneath the veil and coursing through the whole continent. When we last spoke, I was still investigating the cause, but now I have located a place where all the energy seems to be gathering. It's at the end of the river. I intend to go there and see this place. This is the end of everything. Together, let us find our ending. I will wait for you here until you know you are ready. I don't know that I'm ready. I don't know what the hell this is, but... Fuck it, let's go. Then let's follow what faint light there is and see where the river takes us. Sora Mactor has crossed the Dark Sea, and now this will be our crossing. Just stay behind. Please. We shall return, fear not. I don't want to have to save you from a monster again. It's a very pretty set of caves. And a very slow boat, good lord. <laughs> the armor set I've got for my kitty cat there makes him look less than adorable at the moment. How did you even find this damned place anyway? We have Sora Macros to think of clearing the way. It's a little awkward that I've turned off the voices. Upon dying, the Elder Dragons dissolve in the effluvium and the energy that accumulates in the veins of the earth and crystallizes. 
And over time, that grow into this recess? Yes, however, in more recent years, I have sensed a drastic surge in the land's energies. Don't like the sound of this. Yeah, wow, gee, yeah, that, how could that possibly go wrong? Prepare yourself, my friend. Something is terribly amiss. How do we know that it's a miss and not just like a natural cycle of things that's fine? <laughs> my old skeleton cat. If I'd known my kitty cat would be so prominent in these cutscenes, I might have equipped him with something else. Or maybe I wouldn't have, because that's by far the best equipment I have available. And as you can see, I gave him the the paralysis weapon, because I want to inflict paralysis on some enemies. That that would be a nice status change to have access to. Boom. 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 Great mother of damn. Over the countless years, the Elder's bioenergy created this. Even I never expected it to be so enormous. Created what exactly? Wait. It's too pure. What is this thing really? Oh, it's a, it's a womb! Oh, there's a beastie in there. The monsters made a baby! And the baby killed the guy. Oh, I don't like the look of this baby. That's too many eyes! That's too many eyes! That's not so much an elder dragon under the circumstances, since it's like 20 seconds old at this time, at this point. You got this? No, I don't got this! I'll get him back to safety while you keep our new friend here at bay. Oh, gee, that's far. Why do I have to be such a hero? Don't let it leave this nest. I mean, do not. I'll be back with help. You better be. Just do what you gotta do. Oh boy. It's a laser dragon. It has the lasers. Hello. I don't know what you are, but, uh, please don't kill me. Okay. Hopefully, since it's a baby, it's not gonna be that dangerous. I have no idea about its attack timings or anything. God, it's large. Ow, that was a tail swipe. I saw it coming. I was hoping I could get it. I'm just not doing damage to you, am I? Well, I definitely don't want to be in front of you because that's where the lasers come out. Unless you can poop laser. Please don't poop laser. Laser poop bad. Hi. Can I just stay under you? Okay, well, it doesn't seem that aggressive. All things considered. But boy, if this is the baby, I don't want to see what happens when it grows up. Like, that's going to be Macdoro scale. And have lasers. Oh, let me guess. He's going to get faster and faster as the fight goes on. And more and more aggressive as he figures out how to use his body. Cool concept for a fight. Bad for me! Whoa.
Okay, piercing pods, why not? Let's try them. It's free damage! Okay, underneath him seems, relatively speaking, safe. Oh boy. Oh my god, my Palico managed to stun him. And I'm just not in any kind of position to take advantage of it. Okay, he can be paralyzed. That's good to know. Damn it. I don't know what you're doing, but please don't. Okay. It is a baby. It is relatively... At the moment, anyway, undangerous. Okay. The tail is vulnerable, somewhat. Uh, I don't want to be in front of him. Ay, what the hell? Oh, those homing missiles. I would like them not to be homing missiles. Okay. Little annoyed that it's this hard to hit him. Just let me get the damage boost at least. He seems charged up. Oh, is it just me or is he glowing more and more? And he set me on fire passively. I can now eat again. How useful. Okay, a little more damage boost. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, I get it. I see. Okay. Oh, baby needs to lay down for his nap forever. Please. Okay, he doesn't really have any attacks sort of to the side of him. But he is learning to dash. Can we? No, <laughs> not really. I can't hit him with the stab. This is impractical. He's getting more mobile. Way more mobile. I don't like that. Stop that. Okay. Well, I'm not getting hit with everything, so that's good. Damn it. Not good, not great. I think we might ma be making a mistake in, like, the very first thing we're teaching him is that humans are dangerous and he should try to kill them. He could have imprinted on me. I could have been his mommy. We could have had a nice dog. Instead, we have to have a dragon who is large and very cranky. Where exactly am I supposed to find a chance to... Oh, I should have brought quick sharpen, shouldn't I? Yay, hooray! Ow. I'm just gonna... Whoa! Oh! Oh, that's a lot of glowing. That's a lot of glowing. Ow! Oh my god. Okay, if I hadn't had the Vitality Mantle, oh boy. I would definitely be very dead. Oh, good. Hopefully this is a sign that I've actually been doing damage to him. And it's not just a function of time that he becomes more and more powerful. Poor baby, honestly. Having this be his very first experience of the world, or hers, possibly. Wouldn't want that for anyone.
poor baby. And also, poor me if it hits me. Oh! Oh, this might be where I die. Max potion, please! Oh, thank God, that was the very last minute. Okay, so that explosion doesn't have a lot of range. Okay, this is just gonna have to be hit and run tactics, basically. We can do it! You're not here! Dragon Blight, great. What the hell does Dragon Blight do? Oh boy. Whatever it does, I don't like it! Please stop setting everything on fire, that's very rude. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, he's not gonna explode, is he? Yeah, oh, there's the explosion. Okay. I don't like being on fire very much. Okay. Oh shit, we knocked him down. Better capitalize on it. And now get the hell away from him, because he's probably going to explode. Oh, definitely getting more powerful and dangerous by the second. But never fast. Just a little bit more agile sometimes. And he makes the ground explode. That's not good. That's super not great, actually. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! And here comes the boom. There it is. Okay. Oh, well, okay. He can fly, okay. Let's introduce him to flash pods. Oh, okay. All right, I guess. There he is, right. At least this place is marginally less on fire. For now. Holy shit, I got his tail! Sorry! I mean... <laughs> poor baby, but uh, also poor me! Oh, he's blowing dragon fire into the ground. That's what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't think so. I thought it was worth a shot, though. Nope. <laughs> I should have known flash pots wouldn't work. And I should have known that I shouldn't try and... Sharpen at that moment in time. Okay, so how do I get you to come down here? Because I really don't have a means to get to you. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, 
Oh. I'm just gonna have to be on fire. Because need that damage. Okay. Want to be a little less on fire now. Okay, not being on fire is not an option. I really should have brought burning resistance. Oh, well, you live and you learn, or else you die. Oh, I can... All right, worth a shot. So I might be able to ride him with that. Ugh. I don't like this. I don't like just seeing it be born and then deciding that it has to die immediately. That doesn't sit right with me. Oi! Yes, Vigor Wasp, please. I should have brought Tremor Resistance as well, clearly. That's going to be an explosion. Or not. He's lost that power. Well, for now. But it seems to be building up again. Damn it. I need to sharpen. I really do. Okay. Where do I find a window to do that? Here? Okay. I'm not doing terribly. I'm just not doing great either. Oh, come the hell on! It's right there. It cannot possibly be that hard to stab it. Damn it! Oh, there we go. He's got his power back. He got his mojo. Okay. So far, so not dead yet. And I think this is gonna melt to the ground and he's gonna fall into it. I think. Or I'm just gonna get set on fire. That could also happen. How in the actual? Metality Mantle can now be used, and so it will be. <laughs> okay. You are a big and growing lad. And it really, really, really super is your nap time, I'm just saying. Uh-oh, that's an explosion. No? No more explosions. I'm pleased with that. That's, that's a good decision, which I very much support. Hello. Shit. Oh, we got him. 
We got him down. And we paralyzed him. <laughs> That's a fucking great job, Palico. I love you, Captain Fuzz, but never leave my side. Poor little thing. Honestly. Okay, now he's gonna start doing the explosion explody bit. For sure. Is he limping? What's he doing? He's just... Ow! Okay, well, shooting me in the face is what he's doing. Hi! Please come back down. No? Where is his tail, by the way? It's a, probably a really bad idea, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. I got it! <laughs> okay, anytime you want to land, I, I'd be good with it. Thank you. Somehow not dead yet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Please, no more explodey. Damn it! He moved right at the last moment to avoid it. Okay, more explodey. Oh, we're flying again. Oh, we're flying. Okay, we're definitely flying. Thank God for cover. Can I sharpen my weapon while I'm here? Nice, okay. I'm also on fire, great. I should really unequip the mantle so that it can recharge. I have a massive need to go to the bathroom right now. Like I really need to pee. <laughs> Oh, my impeccable... Oh, I can still carve the tail more. Okay. I guess I'm gonna be stupid. I got both. Okay, nice. Somehow, that succeeded. Damn it! Stop flying! Okay. I mean, he's easier to dodge when he's flying, kinda. Albeit my stamina is low. Cause like, you can just kinda stay under him. Or behind shit. But I don't have any means to get him out of the air, so that's... That's a bother. Would you just land? Thank you. Like, if we're doing this, like, at least let's actually do it. Damn it! Okay, that was very, very stupid of me. 
My elemental and status bonuses aren't triggering. Okay, so that's what Dragon Blight does. Basically means you can't use your... Okay. Okay, uh, do the explosion bit. Thank you. <sighs> Worst possible timing for him to stagger. No, stop flying! You're making it exceedingly difficult to stab you. Okay, all right, sure, fine. You just you just do that thing. I don't have any ammo of any kind, except dung ammo, I guess. But I don't want to make him fly away. Can I do that? If I can, I don't want to, because that's not my objective. Oh, do the explodey bit? No, no more explodey bit. Okay, he doesn't explode now. He's exhausted a bit of power. I see. Get me my damage boost, god damn it. Oh, stop doing that. Or at least do it for a little bit longer so I can Yes. Oh, the poor thing. I still have sympathy for the poor thing. Like, it doesn't really feel like it wants to kill or anything. It just feels like it's just gotten born, and it's a baby, and it's terrified of everything. Because the world is quite scary when you haven't seen it before. Don't know if any of you guys have noticed. Uh... Is that supposed to happen? I guess I have to find a way to follow him? Oh no, there he is! I think that was a bug? Looks like it! Yeah, cause like, it looks like he can't really control... ...that beam properly. He's just kinda... ...flailing it around. See? He ruined the ground for himself there. Okay, not perfect, but I'll take it. Oh shit, ammo! Okay, I'll keep the slinger bombs for when he inevitably takes off again. Hit! Yes! I just want the damage right now. Okay. He's going to build up the power again, inevitably, but until then, I have a window.
Damn it. Whoa. Kiddo, please. Okay. Oi! Ow. Oh, didn't mean to do that, actually. Oh, well. Fuck it. Work with what you got. Poor baby, honestly. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Got the damage boost. That's something. Excuse me. Yay. Nice. Okay. Got the damage boost back. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. It shouldn't have to end like that. Uh, I really do feel bad about this. Like, he barely got to exist before I, we decided that he needed to die. I can understand killing a monster like Nurkigante, you know, that's a threat to the ecosystem, which we've studied for many years, and maybe there's some science to back it up, but this is just a pup. Just a little thing. I'm sorry, little one. Ah, the one time my my uh, rope hook thing doesn't actually save me, but fortunately the admiral does instead. <sighs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't feel especially triumphant here. I have to say, I don't necessarily feel good about this kill. And that's like that's been my tension with Monster Hunter since day one is that I <laughs> like uh, killing animals for no good reason is uh, I'm not like I'm I don't think this necessarily morally wrong to kill animals at all but there needs to be a damn good reason to do it there needs to be a justification you know. All you ever do is sleep and fall off things. I'm well, well guilty as charged. <laughs> I'm back in my level one outfit. Seriously, don't cheer me on for this. I might accept that it was necessary, but I'm not gonna enjoy it. Thanks to you, the research commission's work is complete. I send a ship ahead to report back to the guild. They'll relieve us just as soon as they confirm our findings. Everyone, I commend you all for your valiant efforts here. And now, let us celebrate. To banquet!
It's been a while since I've seen my adorable Palico without his armors on. And myself, for that matter. Well, we did it. We did what, exactly? What did we do? You know, after we crash-landed here, I started to wonder if I'd made the right choice. But the new world was all the adventure I wanted and more. She made it. I'm just gonna go say hi. You do that. I should really have turned the voices back on before taking on this mission. <laughs> May I? Hey, he's alive. If not for you, I might not be alive. Yes, indeed. And if not for us... That little thing might not have died. You have quite the eccentric group here. But all of them talented, unique, driven. I love my Palico so much. <laughs> He's feeding the big... <laughs> Perfect. You all seem willful of your own mind, but when the time comes, you join together and become a force to be reckoned with. I suspect there's no trial you could not collectively overcome. Oh! Oh! Lovely little bit of socialism there. And then we get a... A monster that's been incubating in bio energy. Lurking so close, yet hiding so well. Perhaps it was what first drew the aging elders here to satisfy its cravings for energy. Could be right. Maybe it used some kind of pheromone or something. Eventually, the land became rich with nutrients, the perfect home for tough monsters. The energy smorgasbord must be why the elders inhabit the recess. <laughs> you know, we're lucky you stopped that thing. It would have been a disaster if it left its nest. How do we know that? Honestly. Three cheers for you. Yeah, I'm going to feel bad about this for the rest of the day. Sorry, I'll just say I'm... <laughs> no, I think you should keep it. As a memory of the child you murdered. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll f I, I know. It's missing the point of the game a little bit. We received word from the guild. That was fast. The guild commends you for your dedicated research of the Elder Crossing. In light of your findings, we confirmed that the monster you discovered is a new species of Elder Dragon. An official name has been chosen, Sinojiva. Sinojiva. Sinojiva? Mm -hmm. This concludes your duties with the research commissions. We thank you again for your service. I should really have turned the voices on so I'd know how to pronounce that. You're free to return home at your discretion. However... The Commission's presence in the New World still has potential to be a great benefit to the Guild. So we would like to ask you to continue to work here if you are so willing. There you have it. If we decide to stay and take on new research... There are bound to be trials ahead. Dangers. You don't want that, do you? Of course that's what we want. Yeah, more baby murder! Hooray! <laughs> Lovely bit of peer pressure to prevent anyone from going home. Thank you. All right. Commission, welcome to your new home. I'd better pack on some weight. This is going to be hard work. I like her attitude towards food. So I guess that's the end of the main quest, the game, as it were. Yeah, looks that way. Well, that's it. That's the end of the Monster Hunter series. Never going to do another video in this series ever again. Of course I am. Of course I am. I haven't been enjoying playing too much. I've been enjoying playing with other people too much. It's been a, it's it's become a highlight of my week. So of course we're going to do more. I'm sure there will be more. Like I mean I mean maybe not a whole new map area or anything, but I know that there's like ranks above what we've been playing so far. And even better gear to grind for. Yes, grind. The grind. Love the grind. But yeah, yeah, I'm I, sorry to, to the Monster Hunter fans out there. Sorry, I'm never going to let my unease go. 
at the fact that we murdered that little baby dragon before it had a chance to to do anything like because you can absolutely make the argument that like some some species are invasive or like their their effects on the ecosystem are bad and therefore it falls to humans uh, to do some regulation of that as stewards of the earth like that's that's an argument you can go down and, and it's, it's one that I'm relatively receptive to because we have fucked up nature so bad that at this point we kind of have to step in and, and, and fix things. So I, like, I completely I completely understand that as a theme. But I mean, it was just a baby. It hadn't even done anything. It just showed up, it just got born and some asshole stood too close and got blasted in the chip. We could have just like let it go and do stuff and see what it would turn into. Like scientists or something. No, okay, it's just, oh, it's big and energy, something, ah. And so we murdered it. Okay, fine. Like it might've been the only one of its goddamn species for all we know. Oh, well. I, I mean, I'm sure that in the lore, some part of the lore that I didn't quite catch or didn't, or didn't see, this, it's a whole thing of, ah, but see, this species is actually, they eat all of the other things, all of them, and then they lay the world bare and go into hibernation and come out again of a cocoon. Like, maybe there's probably some justification or another. It's just because I don't have that context. I'm sitting here like, oh, this is a baby. I don't want to kill babies. I'm also just kind of like that kind of guy a little bit. Like, I, <laughs> I'm very fond of animals. And I generally think that that our, our jobs as humans, as stewards of the earth is to minimize their suffering as much as we can. Like, and again, not that I, I, I don't necessarily subscribe to the full uh, ethical vegan thing where like just, oh, any eating any animal product is necessarily immoral or anything like that. I think no, no, humans kill and eat things, and that's that's part of our nature, and that can be okay, so long as we don't, you know, shove animals in tiny little cages and essentially torture them until we kill them and pump them full of antibiotics and, and like, abuse them and, and, and treat them horribly. Then it can be okay. Trouble is, with the modern meat uh, industry being what it is, like, yeah, most of the meat that we have is... Yeah, it's a lot of animal torture, basically, which, ugh. Okay, well, since, since the credits are running, I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick and come back. And you guys just enjoy the music. There we are again. That's a very good singer. It's really hard to do that kind of thing with your voice. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm overthinking things. I overthink things a lot. It's kind of it's kind of my brand. <laughs> it's kind of what my channel is about. Um, so yeah. That is such as it is. But seriously, it was just a little baby.
I don't know how long these credits are, but I'm gonna let them roll. Because the, we'll, we'll let this be the video, as it were. Uh, I suppose, like, if the credits are gonna be rolling for a while yet, presumably, then I might as well tell you that if you would like to join me for some Monster Hunter and some morally dubious baby killing <laughs> on stream, then I stream on Saturdays at 8 p.m. Central European Standard Time on twitch.tv slash tvskyen, and there's instructions down in the description of this video to tell you how to join me on stream and have some fun together and enjoy each other's company. And usually, like, we don't get a lot of viewers on the stream, like usually 20, 30 people maybe, and I've got eight or 10, maybe 12 people with me in the Discord, and we all kind of run around and do missions and stuff, and it's just, it's just a generally nice, good, sociable time. And I would love for you to join us if you would like to. If, if, uh, if you haven't played as far as I have in the game yet, it's gonna take you a bit to get up to a level where I am at right now, but fortunately, we don't mind, like, on the stream so far, nobody has minded taking on lower level missions to help boost newer players up, like, to help them to help them move along. And, you know, teach them the game. Like, that's something that the, this series has been ex exceptionally good for, is people have been so willing to be generous with their time and teach me about the game. And also each other. Like, I see that on my Discord all the time. People are so happy to teach each other about the game. So even if you feel like you're a beginner and you don't really know, uh, um, if you want to join on stream, I'm, we're going to try our best, like as much as we can, within a, a, to, to a reasonable extent, to make it accessible and and make you feel welcome. Like you should you should also play or by yourself on your own off off stream uh, first and, and sort of try uh, to to learn the game for yourself as well. But we are very willing to help. Ah, uh, yeah, what else? Uh, I need to plug some stuff down in the description. I've also got my tip jars and my Patreon, and I've got all of my uh, uh, stuff. And plug, like, comment, subscribe. YouTube, this is literally my job, and yet I can't remember the spiel sometimes <laughs> when I have to. And thank you to all the people who've been following uh, the Monster Hunter series as they have so far. Like, I really did not expect it to... I mean, it's, it's on my second channel, so for for this channel, a successful video gets like a couple of hundred views. But most of the Monster Hunter videos have got that. Like, they've 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 had a pretty steady audience, it seems like. And I'm, I'm really I'm surprised and pleased by that. And I'm really happy that I've been able to do this over here. Because I would never have been able to do this on the main channel. It would have tanked all of my other work entirely. So, yeah. This music slaps, by the way. I should really get a hold of the soundtrack. I think I can buy that on Steam. Um, so yeah. Oh god, there's still more. Okay, he, the Kanami there gets just the whole page to himself, I see. And so does Yuya Tokuda. Okay, I guess he's there to directors and stuff, so I guess that's that, that makes a certain degree of sense. I guess now I know what the whole Monster Hunter fuss is about. <laughs> now I know why people like this game a lot. That's also neat. And I guess now I'm just gonna spawn back in the base. Ooh, cutscene, okay. And it's gonna remain super awkward that I don't have the voices on. Look who's here. I knew it was only a matter of time. You ready to shake things up? The new world awaits. Let's get hunting. Yeah, yeah let's let's go kill some more animals. <laughs> Hunter rank cap has been removed and I am 29 now. Well, sweet. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back with more Monster Hunter content tomorrow, obviously, and I'm gonna try and, and round up some missions, some relatively high level missions. Um, that uh, we can do together once it's stream time. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful evening.
I know I said evening, but I don't actually know what time it is where you are. So just have a wonderful day or just have a wonderful whatever the time of the, the, the day is. Bye.